when I actually came out. I was in a whole relationship. I didn't even come out and say, hey, I like women. I came out and said, hey, I have a girlfriend. What's up, everyone? It's Seagirl, the kind of S-I-M-O-N-E, and I am back. On your screen, which means I am back with another video. As you can tell by today's title, I am giving you guys some advice um, on coming out later in life. And I know this topic, I haven't heard really much people talk about it, but I think it's really important to talk about those of us who have come out later in life. And when I say later, I mean like not in your teenage years, not even before that. I mean like 20s and plus like mid 20s and plus let's just hop right into this video subscribe to my channel turn on post notifications and let's get into it so when coming out later in life the th one thing that i would say to you if you're struggling with coming out is don't feel the pressure to come out for me i didn't feel that pressure because i was still trying to figure out what exactly it was what i was feeling when i was you know looking at women and thinking about women in a sexual way. I didn't feel pressure to come out once because a lot of people around me were not um, in the LGBTQ plus community. So I didn't feel pressure to come out. But in this day and age where, you know, it is more accepted, you know, to be a part of this wonderful community, I think some people do feel pressure feeling like, oh, I have to come out now. I gotta be like this person, that person. Especially with social media, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, like those things can be pressurized and especially like pressurizing to you to come out because you feel like you want to live in like this moment in this community and your truth and i'm not saying don't do that what i'm saying is if you feel that way try not to let it get to you try to really understand like what it is that's going on in your mind you know you want to come out yeah you want to live like that yeah but don't let the pressure get to you when it comes to coming out as you know people of us who have been holding on to like our little secret or whatever for so long and staying in the closet for so long you know there is really a reason which brings me to my next point which is think about what made you stay in the closet for so long which is why we don't rush to come out because you know certain circumstances can prevent me from coming out. For me, after I came out and I felt like having a little moment, like I felt proud and happy and stuff like that, I really had to think about why did I take so long to come out? You know, the way I am now, I'm so happy, I'm so free, but I really had to reflect like, why did it take me so long to come out? And it was because I wasn't comfortable, I didn't know how people around me were gonna take it. Yeah, I had friends, but like friends are not family, you know, friends will usually mostly accept you for who you are. So that was kind of easy, but you know, family not taking it well was kind of the reason why I didn't come out and I didn't know what it was at the time. Kept it to myself until I could figure out what exactly was going on and when I actually figured out what was going on when I actually came out, I was in a whole relationship. I didn't even come out and say, hey, I like women. I came out and said, hey, I have a girlfriend. So that's my take on, you know, coming out and just like reflecting on whatever issues and whatever concerns, whatever feelings you have when it comes to coming out. Because of that, this is bringing me to my third point. Ask yourself why you want to come out. Really think about it. Truly think about what coming out means to you. What would that mean in your life? Does it mean you're gonna break any restraints? Does it mean that you get to finally be free? Does it mean that you don't have to live in the shadows anymore? Does it mean that breaking out from family normalties or whichever the case may be, truly, truly, really think about why you're coming out. For me, this is one of those things where I just realized it was something I had to say to my mom. I was like, hey, I have a girlfriend. And that was it. You know, I didn't wanna hold it back from her because I was really falling in love with my girlfriend at the time. So with something like that, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna be cool about it. So I'm just gonna tell her I have a girlfriend and that was it. Boy, was I wrong. You have to really think about what that means to come out and really think about where that's gonna take you. You know, being yourself, being your own person, it's something that you will never experience if you're not your freest self, if you're not your truest self, you know? Once you don't have things holding you down and tying you up and making you feel like you're in a restraint and making you feel like you can't breathe, you're going to be happy. So if coming out for you does that, then go ahead and do it. But also, if you know that coming out comes with risk, you have to think about that as well. You know, sometimes you may not know coming out comes with this. I didn't know coming out came with risk. And that's really why I'm here now because sometimes 
coming out does come with risk and you just don't know. And of course, it just slides right into my fourth point. It just come out when you feel comfortable, when you feel ready. Like I said, everything before coming out is a process. And a lot of people that I see on Instagram always say over and over again, I have to keep constantly coming out to people, constantly, constantly, constantly coming out to people. And I didn't understand it at first, but I understand it now. I like it because to me, it's like I never got a chance to constantly come out to people. I would just tell people, oh, hey, I have a girlfriend. Or, oh, hey, I'm crushing on this girl. People were like, oh, okay, you know, but constantly coming out to people is just saying, hey, I like women. Or when you're in a conversation, you're like, oh, yeah, we're going to get married to your husband. And it's like, mm, wife. Even that little <laughs> sentence, that little word is coming out, you know, constantly when men try to hit on you, when women try to hit on you, and you know you're attracted to the same sex, you have to constantly explain that. And sometimes you have to be careful because people are rude, mean, disgusting, vicious these days. And you have to be careful about how you explain that too. Every time men woke up to me on the street, like, oh, hey, can I get your number? And I'm like, no. And they're like, oh, why? And I'm like, because I don't date men. It's just constantly having to come out. But when you do get a chance to come out, you're going to love it. And I'm not trying to say this to like pressure you or rush you or do whatever when it takes to coming out. Like, no, not at all. Because again, I'm a person that came out really late in life and I wish I would have come out early in life, but I know there was no other way for me to come out than the moment that I did come out. Um, the way I, my life was going, I was gonna come out at that point. I wasn't gonna come out no other point before that. If you find that moment in your life where it's like, you know what, I it's it's time. I'm ready. I'm ready for the world to know, I'm ready for my family, my friends to know, like I want to come out. I wanna tell them who I am, who I'm supposed to be, what I'm gonna be doing, and like who I'm attracted to. Maybe it's not that important to you. Some people coming out is not important to them, and that's fine, but for the people that is important to them, like just really sit down and say, you know what, I'm ready to do this. I'm comfortable in my life that whatever happens, happens. And I think that is the most important thing when coming out, whatever happens in your life, happens. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys understand that coming out is not easy. <sighs> Subscribe to my channel, turn on those post notifications, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let me know the age that you came out at was it early in life midlife late in life just let me know in the comment section down below share this video with your friends because you never know who you can help out and i will see you guys in the next one bye